Pulse is honored to have the newly crowned Theatre Miss World Sri Lanka 2021, the exquisite Shade Greenwood, in what is her first ever interview to camera since her crowning at the Hilton Colombo last Sunday, the 7th of November. And we're actually once again back at the Hilton Colombo. Shade, before all of that, tell me who is Shade Greenwood? Shade is a model, animal activist, daughter, sister, and a student at Tokyo International University in Japan and uh, she's 19 years old and she's ready to make her mark in the Miss World stage in Puerto Rico. The 70th anniversary The 70th of that. anniversary. Yes. Now, the title weighs very heavy on your shoulders, great responsibility, and the crown you're wearing is worth several millions and millions of rupees. What do the crown and the title mean to you? They mean so much to me because it feels like I'm representing Sri Lanka. It, I am representing Sri Lanka as a whole and it feels as though Sri Lanka is beating through me and we're standing together united to um, go on the world stage in Puerto Rico. So it feels like collectively it's all of us together and uh, I'm really excited for this opportunity. Well, because of, uh, because of COVID, there was no pageant per se with many contestants. So uh, the franchise holders had to select a girl and nominate a girl as our representative. Now, what was your first reaction when Model Shop told you that you are the chosen one for Miss World Sri Lanka 2021? Well, Kumar, I remember walking into that room and seeing Sangeeta, Dananjaya and uh, seeing Shireen sitting there and uh, they had a small chat with me and after that they were just like okay so you're going to be representing Sri Lanka for Miss World 2021 and when I mean my stomach just erupted in butterflies I was just so like my legs felt like jelly and there was just so much excitement in me but you know it was also a huge honor because almost instantly there was this huge responsibility where I felt like you know it was 22 million heartbeats beating through me because I would be representing my country and it was just so much of pride and I was just so elated to have been given that opportunity and I really can't wait. But really. Talking of the 22 million heartbeats that you're taking with you to Puerto Rico uh, next month, uh, next week rather, uh, how much has your life changed since you began wearing this crown last Sunday, the 7th of November at the Hilton Colombo? It was almost an overnight change. I mean, I met so many wonderful people and, you know, if all these 22 million heartbeats have been so supportive. I've received lovely messages and I've, I'm taking the time to read every single one of them when I have time because, you know, they're all important to me and your support means the world to me. So I'm really, really honoured and appreciative of them. Thank you. Let's switch rails now. Tell us something about your family. So my dad is British German and my mum is Sri Lankan. So I was born and raised here and my sister, I have an elder sister, Sabrina, and uh, we grew up on Buddhist teachings, Buddhist foundations. So a very normal childhood, you know, climbing trees, falling off trees, you know, the usual. Very much grounded. <laughs> very much grounded on the floor most of the time after falling off the trees, but yeah. <laughs> very interesting. And school, Asian international? Asian International, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. What was school life like? School life was really interesting. I loved the arts in general. So I was a theatre kid into music and I was into anything and everything to do with drama. And that's where, you know, I met one of my favourite teachers, Miss Sandra. She has inspired me and been a huge inspiration and role model in my life. And I'm really grateful to have met and know a woman like her. So, yeah. You began modeling when you were 14 years old. That's very, very young. Uh, what was that like? It was really interesting, you know, and it was, I'm somebody that loves to go out of my comfort zone. So when I was 14 years old and that opportunity came up, I just remember thinking, you know, this is it. I'm just gonna go for it and see where it takes me. And it's just been an, it's just been an amazing, amazing experience. And I'm so grateful that I made that decision to go into the modeling field. You are aware that you have a huge responsibility and a huge uh, challenge on your head and shoulders of a 19 year old at that. Uh, what is your journey like, journey to Puerto Rico, what is the preparation like? So um, I have an amazing support system here at the Miss World team um, in Sri Lanka. 
So I have um, Dhananjya supporting me in terms of designing and he's giving me tips on posing as well. Senaka is helping me out with uh, the posing and choreographing and how to walk. So there's a lot of work that goes behind scenes and Kuma, lovely Kuma is also helping me out with uh, corporate etiquette and how to, you know, uh, go about and cocktail protocols, you know the, the drill, yeah. On Instagram, the survey. <laughs> Uh, Channa and Aseka Vijayvardhana yes, help you. Of course, Channa and Aseka have been helping me, uh, fine tuning me for my uh, national dance that I'll be presenting on the world stage in Puerto Rico. So, yeah. You also have Atula Mahavalagay. Yes, oh my gosh, Atula. Yes, he's been amazing. He's also been helping me so much in terms of pictures, posing, and I'm so grateful for their support because honestly, they've been my backbone through this journey, and I'm really grateful for them. A lot of hard work in a short space of time. <laughs> How do you plan to present Sri Lanka to the world at the 70th Miss World in Puerto Rico? I plan to present Sri Lanka with a bang. I'm going to make my country proud and I'm hopefully going to, you know, just make everybody aware of how beautiful this and how much this country has to offer. And I'm so excited because I have big plans and I can't wait, really. Talk to us about your beauty with a purpose, which every contestant has to have. One that's close to your heart. Yeah. So, beauty with a purpose for me, I'm taking Pearl Protectors to the global stage. Pearl Protectors is a marine conservation group that was formed by a bunch of university, stu university students who realized that there was a problem in terms of uh, plastic pollution here in Sri Lanka and they wanted to basically slow down climate change, which is a very, very um, serious problem nowadays Kuma so um, you know it's a wonderful uh, organization they work with a lot of youth and they try to inspire you to get more involved in volunteer campaigns that they hold frequently so I'm really excited to bring them to uh, glo the global platform in Puerto Rico. Shali before we close what advice do you have to all those young people out there your age around your age watching you listening to you for them to make it big in life one day just as you have so age is just a number, you know, and uh, your achievements and your purpose speak for themselves. And my advice would be to the young, to the old, you know, anyone would be believe in yourself and always stay grounded and stay humble no matter where life takes you. Um, I also want to add that, you know, there are some days when you just can't seem to get up there. We all have bad days, you all have good days. But you just have to believe in yourself that, you know, the bad days will pass and there will be better days. So my advice to all of you would be dream big and reach for the stars because you are capable of it. And that brings our chat with the reigning Miss World Sri Lanka 2021 to a close. Thank you very much, Sade. And thank you, Hilton Colombo, for your generous hospitality as always. And to Ramani Fernando Salons, the ladies, hair and makeup and beauty partner. Shade, on behalf of Pulse and myself, uh, good luck to you, blessings, lots of love, lots of hugs and my dear girl, please bring that crown to Sri Lanka. That's a thank Kumar. Thank you.